Wow. Nintendo released a surprise new console. I kid you not. Check out this video. is going on everybody how are y'all doing whoa this came out of nowhere but first give the video a big like 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 thumbs up we have a tons of dope news in this video new consoles nintendo direct dates oh my goodness first hey i found my joy call boy shirt so i had to put it on shout out to the homie etika for those of you who've been rocking me for a minute know that me and etika was real cool he used to shop me out a lot of times we used to play splatoon 2 together on the channel i might when i put on the shirt today i was like you know what I'm going to start putting Etika in the outro of my videos when he gave me the shout outs. So that's what I might do. Stay tuned for the next video. If I don't do it in the next video, type in the comment section, Obi-Wan, you didn't put Etika in the outro of your video like you said you would. All right, let's get to the first news item. We'll save the new console for number item number two. First news item, a Nintendo Direct is coming in June. Now. This is coming from a credible source. Alana Pierce, former um, j gaming journalist at IGN. She went sort of independent, I think. I think she went with another um, network. But long story short, she announced during a Twitch stream that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct on June 29th. Now, I only report usually on this stuff when it's like credible, credible, credible. If it's not a real credible source, I'll let y'all know. But she is legit. She has gotten some stuff right in the past. She's an insider. She knows some things that we don't know. And so this is what she said. Pierce was asked by a viewer in a Nintendo Di if a Nintendo Direct had been announced. And she replied, no, but I believe there's a Nintendo Direct coming on the 29th. And I, she continues, I don't know if that's been announced yet. You heard it here first. Let me check. Pierce then checked her notes and she says, I have it written down t June 29th. Yep, Nintendo Direct June 29th. And so for her to be so specific of a date lets you know that Nintendo's cooking something up. That means we are going to get a summer Nintendo Direct and it's actually better for them to do it at the end of the month as opposed to um, during the whole summer game fest. Xbox just had their trash presentation. So uh, Nintendo's not going to be sharing any limelight. They wait, do it at the end of the month. They get all the news, all the press. So Nintendo Direct June 29th. You heard it here first. Should be late. Man, I got a business trip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be flying, bro. I hope it's not the 29th. I hope it's like the 28th. Bro, let it be the 28th on my birthday, bro. That'll be so fire. All right, bro. <laughs> this next news item, I was like, whoa. This lets me know Nintendo can do what they want when they want. Bro, this isn't a rumor. This isn't a leak. Nintendo confirmed that they have released a new Switch console. Check this out. This is coming from comicbook.com. I find this to be very interesting. And, hey, these Steam Deck, dudes who use their Steam Deck to play Nintendo games, watch out. Nintendo has confirmed that it released a new Nintendo Switch console to counter the hacking that targeted the system. Um, its release was confirmed during the criminal trial uh, involving Nintendo and team executor hacker Gary Bowser. The trial concluded with a 40-month prison sentence for that hacking, for hacking Nintendo's console. Whoa, 40 months in prison? 
That's more than three years, bro. That's that's a lot of time. And now some documents from the case have surfaced online, revealing more details and Nintendo's new console. This is what the document says. Nintendo has had to release a new version of our hardware in response to one of these hacking tools and this modification entailed countless hours of engineering and adjustments to our global manufacturing distribution chains. Bro. And so, this happened without us even knowing that Nintendo released a new console, a new Switch console. They did it behind the scenes. And so, we think we just, we got maybe a Switch OLED or even the, the standard Switch. You just went in the store, you bought a uh, version 2 Switch. But even the version 2 behind the scenes, this was done behind the scenes. The internals of your, if you just bought a Switch that's just been stocked on shelves, the internals of your Switch is different from someone who bought a Switch maybe two or three years ago without us even knowing. And so, um, I was just talking to some dudes who are like bragging about, ah, I could play Zelda on my Steam Deck. <laughs> Y'all keep playing the bootleg uh, Nintendo games on your Steam Deck. Nintendo's cracking down behind the scenes and you don't even know it. So I thought that was interesting. And what that lets me know is a Switch Pro can come out of nowhere. They did it with the new 3DS XL. I remember we were just, we we're just chilling. Boop, Nintendo put a video up on their YouTube channel introducing the new 3DS XL, a more powerful 3DS. So I think it could, it could happen at any time, bro. How lit would it be if at the end of June when they have their Nintendo Direct, Nintendo, poop pulls, Doug Bowser pulls out of his jacket the new Nintendo Switch Plus XL Double Pro. <laughs> that would be crazy that would be crazy all right a couple other uh, uh, news tidbits before we end this uh, the, this video uh, minecraft legends has been announced this was during xbox's trash presentation um they did announce minecraft legends but it's coming to the nintendo switch also uh next year which i think this is a um real time it's a real time strategy game in the minecraft world uh, the game looked cool i may pick it up there's nothing else to play around that time but it's coming to that switch also where my xenoblade chronicles 3 fans at bro a new character has been highlighted and a trailer has come up on the xenoblade japanese twitter account the new character is Zeon introduces Zeon and he's described as a key soldier and a reliable hero who will go above and beyond to protect his allies. Additionally, he has a, a sword and shield. Perfect Smash character. So Smash is just sword, sword and shield fighters. Fire on them. And so um, it's good to see that they're releasing tidbits. And this game is coming out a lot sooner than I thought. This summer, I think it switched places with Splatoon 3 or something like that. But Xenoblade Chronicles 3 definitely will be picking it up day one. New fighter, a new fighter, new character has been revealed. And the last news item. This was interesting. Also during Xbox's mediocre, below average presentation, Overwatch 2 finally got a release date. It's coming in October, October, I think it's like October 24th. Um, and they're and calling it early access. But here's the big caveat. Overwatch 2 is gonna be free to play for PVP matches. They're going the PV, the free to play model now. Um, games like um, what's the game four v four game on the Switch that I play a lot, um, bro? Why is the game? I just platinum it on my PS Five. It's gonna come to my mind after I get off of this video. It's the um, 
the game with the um, Japanese girl with the sword, I played it all the time with the sponsors. Bro, <laughs> I know the game, and it just beat it like, like my favorite game, multiplayer game. But that game went free to play. Fortnite is big free to play. Overwatch 2 is going free to play. Now, here's why they're going free to play. Because when they had that beta, the views were so low. The disinterest for Overwatch right now. I think people have gotten their feel of Overwatch and moved on. And so they had to go the free to play route so that they can still have a solid um, um, solid user base. Rogue Company. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so embarrassed that I forgot the name of Rogue Company. But um, Overwatch 2 is going free to play. Those are all the news items for this epic video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We're out, boy.